കന്നഡ സിനിമയിലെ രണ്ട് പവർ ഹൗസിനെ ഒരു സിനിമയിലേക്ക് കൊണ്ടുവരാണ് രാജ് പി ഷെട്ടി ആൻഡ് നക്ഷി ഷെട്ടി സോ ഇത് കുറച്ച് ലൗഡ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു ക്യാരക്ടറാണ് എനിക്കിത് ബുദ്ധിമുട്ടാവുമെന്ന് ഇങ്ങനെ തോന്നുന്നു പറഞ്ഞു പക്ഷെ ഞാൻ ഇല്ല സത്യം ഇത് നിങ്ങൾ വിശ്വസിക്കും ഇത് വർക്ക് ആവുമെന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു ഫിലിം <laughs> 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 even if i do what people like that also is not working even if i do what i like that is also not working but by then ulidor kannath had become any content which is good is going to have a market all over the country, all over the world idane njan idu vare njan thedikkonnde charli ivula nannu varne ഹായ് ഹലോ വ്യൂവേഴ്സ് വെൽക്കം ടു ഫിലിമി ബീറ്റ് മലയാളം ഇന്ന് നമ്മുടെ കൂടെയുള്ളത് നമ്മൾ ഈ അടുത്ത കാലത്ത് ഒരു സിനിമയുടെ ട്രെയിലർ കണ്ടു ആ ട്രെയിലറിൻ്റെ ലാസ്റ്റ് ഭാഗം മാത്രം നമ്മൾ സ്റ്റാറ്റസ് ആക്കിയിട്ടായിരുന്നു ഒരുപാട് പേര് ചാളി എന്നോട് ഇത്ര എത്രമാത്രം ഇഷ്ടമുണ്ടെന്ന് ചോദിച്ചിട്ട് സോ അപ്പോൾ തൊട്ട് ആളുകൾ കാത്തിരിക്കുകയാണ് ആ ഒരു സിനിമ തിയേറ്ററിൽ കാണാൻ വേണ്ടിയിട്ട് സോ ആ സിനിമയുടെ വണ്ടർഫുൾ ക്രിയേറ്റേഴ്സ് ആണെന്ന് നമ്മളോടൊപ്പമുള്ളത് രക്ഷി ഷെഡി കിരൺദാസ് ആൻഡ് സംഗീത വെൽക്കം മൂന്ന് ഹായ് സോ എൻജോയ് കേരള ഐ തിങ്ക് സോ ഹൗ യു യു ആർ ബീങ് ഹിയർ ഫോർ ടു ത്രീ ഡേയ്സ് Yeah, yeah, obviously. This is more like my hometown only. So, there's no much uh, difference. Mm. The coconut trees everywhere. <laughs> Udupi is also like this. Mm. And, uh, you know, coastal belt, uh, all that. So, mm. yeah. Mm. So, Sangeeta, I mean, first time you have been in Kerala. Yeah, yeah. So, how is Kuchi? It's beautiful. I love the weather. I think we have come at the right time probably. Mm. Uh, but, yeah, it's the new moment over here. Mm. I, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling good, but I'm still sweating. Oh. <laughs> yes. സോ കിരൺ അതായത് നമ്മളിപ്പോൾ ഒരു സിനിമ ചെയ്യുകയാണ് ഓക്കെ സിനിമ ചെയ്യുകയാണെന്ന് ഇരിക്കട്ടെ പക്ഷേ കന്നഡ സിനിമയിലെ രണ്ട് പവർ ഹൗസിനെ ഒരു സിനിമയിലേക്ക് കൊണ്ടുവരാണ് രാജ് പി ഷെട്ടി ആൻഡ് നക്ഷി ഷെട്ടി സോ അതെങ്ങനെയാണ് ആ ഒരു ഡിസിഷനിലേക്ക് വന്നത് ഈ ഒരു രണ്ട് പേരെയും അതായത് രണ്ട് രണ്ട് ദിശയിൽ സഞ്ചരിക്കുന്നവരാണ് ഇങ്ങനെ ഒറ്റ ഇതിൽ കൊണ്ടുവരാൻ വേണ്ടിയിട്ട് അത് എൻ്റെ ഒരു ഡിസിഷൻ ആയില്ല അൺഎക്സ്പെക്റ്റഡ് ആയിട്ട് ആയതാണ് സോ ആദ്യ ചാർലി സ്ക്രിപ്റ്റിനുള്ള ഒരു വേറൊരു ഹീറോ ആയിരുന്നു ലീഡ് ആക്ടറായിട്ട് അരവിന്ദ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞിട്ട് നമ്മൾ ആദ്യം പ്ലാൻ ചെയ്തപ്പോൾ ഒരു ഒരു വർഷത്തിൽ ചാർലിനെ തീർക്കാൻ പറ്റൂ എന്നാണ് വിചാരിച്ചത് സോ പക്ഷേ ട്രെയിനിങ് പ്രോസസ്സ് ഇതെല്ലാം തുടങ്ങിയ പിന്നെ മനസ്സിലായി ഇല്ല ഇത് നമ്മൾ ഒരു വർഷത്തിന് പറ്റില്ല ഇതിൻ്റെ ഒരു രണ്ട് വർഷം എന്തായാലും വേണമായിരുന്നു അപ്പോൾ ആ പുള്ളിയുടെ ഡേറ്റും ഇതൊക്കെ മാനേജ് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റാത്തതുകൊണ്ട് അവർ പോവാണായി വന്നു സോ അപ്പോൾ റക്ഷിത് അവർ ആൾറെഡി ഈ സ്ക്രിപ്റ്റ് കേട്ട് പ്രൊഡ്യൂസ് ചെയ്യാൻ അവർ സമ്മതിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ടായിരുന്നു സോ ദെൻ ആൻഡ് അവർക്ക് ഭയങ്കര ഇഷ്ടമായ ഒരു സബ്ജക്റ്റ് ആയിരുന്നു ആ ധർമ്മ ക്യാരക്ടർ അവർക്ക് പ്ലേ ചെയ്യണമെന്നുണ്ടായിരുന്നു പിന്നീട് നെക്സ്റ്റ് വേറെ ആരാ ചെയ്യാമെന്ന് പറയുമ്പോൾ ആദ്യം അവർ പറഞ്ഞത് ഞാനിത് ചെയ്യാം എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു സോ അപ്പോൾ പക്ഷെ അവർ ആൾറെഡി അവനെ ശ്രീമൻ നാരായണ ഷൂട്ട് തുടങ്ങിയിട്ടുണ്ടായിരുന്നു പക്ഷെ അവർ പറഞ്ഞത് അതിൻ്റെ ഒപ്പം എങ്ങനെയാണ് ഷൂട്ടിംഗ് ഒക്കെ പ്ലാൻ ചെയ്തിട്ട് പിന്നെ അവനശ്രീമൻ നാരായണ ഒരു ഒരു വലിയൊരു ക്യാൻവാസിലാണ് ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ടായത് അപ്പോൾ ഈ സെറ്റൊക്കെ ബിൽഡ് ചെയ്യാൻ ഒരുപാട് ടൈം ഇങ്ങനെയൊക്കെ വേണമായിരുന്നു സ്കെഡ്യൂൾ ബ്രേക്ക് ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു സോ ആ ടൈമിൽ ഇങ്ങനെ പ്ലാൻ ചെയ്തിട്ട് മാനേജ് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റുന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ഞാൻ തീർച്ചയായിട്ടും ചെയ്യാമെന്ന് അവർ പറഞ്ഞു എനിക്കപ്പോൾ ഒരു ആദ്യത്തെ പടത്തിന് ഒരു സ്റ്റാറിടെ ഡേറ്റ് കിട്ടുമ്പോൾ ഞാൻ തീർച്ചയായിട്ടും അതെല്ലാം മാനേജ് ചെയ്യാമെന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു സോ അങ്ങനെയാണ് റക്ഷി സാർ ഓൺ ബോർഡ് വന്നത് പിന്നെ രാജ് സാറിന് ഞാൻ ഞാനൊരു വർഷൻ സ്ക്രിപ്റ്റ് റെഡി ചെയ്ത് ഒരു ഒരു വർഷം ഡയലോഗ് ഒക്കെ റെഡി ആയിട്ടുണ്ടായിരുന്നു എനിക്കതിന് പിന്നെയും ബെറ്റർ ചെയ്യാൻ ഞാൻ പിന്നെ രാജ് ഷെട്ടറിയുടെ ഒന്തുമുട്ട കഥ കണ്ടിട്ടുണ്ടായിരുന്നു എൻ്റെ എൻ്റെ ഒരു ഫേവറേറ്റ് പടമാണ് അതിൻ്റെ റൈറ്റിംഗ് കൂടെ അപ്പോൾ അവരെ വിളിച്ചിട്ട് എനിക്കൊരു വർഷം ഡയലോഗ് എഴുതാൻ പറഞ്ഞു സോ അപ്പോൾ പുള്ളി വന്ന് ഒരു വർഷം ഡയലോഗ് എഴുതി എന്നിട്ട് ഞാനതിലൊരു വെറ്ററിനറി ഡോക്ടർ ക്യാരക്ടർ എഴുതിയിട്ടുണ്ടായിരുന്നു എനിക്കത് ആദ്യ തൊട്ടേ മൈൻഡിൽ ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു ഇത് രാജ് ബി ഷെട്ടി അവർ പ്ലേ ചെയ്താൽ നന്നായിട്ടുണ്ടാവും സോ പിന്നീട് ഞാൻ പുള്ളിയോട് പറഞ്ഞു നിങ്ങൾ ഈ ക്യാരക്ടർ ചെയ്യണമെന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു അപ്പം അവർക്ക് ഒരു ഒരു ചെറിയൊരു പേടി
ഈ സംഭവിച്ചു ഐ വിൽ ഷോ യു സംതിങ് ഓക്കെ ഇറ്റ്സ് വെരി സ്പെഷ്യൽ ടു യുവർ സിങ്സ് ഓക്കെ ആഫ്റ്റർ ദിസ് മച്ച് ഇയേഴ്സ് യു ആർ സീങ് ഇറ്റ് എഗെയിൻ സോ what does you feel now let's say i'm so uh, <laughs> this is what uh, how many years back uh, probably <laughs> this is uh, 2010 or 2009 something yeah so that's like 13 14 years back yeah. <laughs> so that's where i started from mm. Uh, before this i had done uh, one or two short films which i deleted as yeah. soon as i made them yeah. because they were really bad this was actually shot by uh, two of my friends called sumanth and shishir mm. now both are doing films in parambar studios oh uh, both are debut uh, they are doing the debut films mm. shishir is already uh, shot the film now uh, with anand nag sir called labra ka dabra and uh, sumanth is doing a film called uh, mithya yeah. uh, that is on floor now yeah. so you know it's coming full circle you know uh, i've been telling everyone that you know charlie i'm i'm in a state of life probably in the film industry when charlie is releasing i'm coming one full circle oh. uh, in, internally and externally uh. so that's where it is <laughs> uh. so i just want to know about uh, okay we normally see a kannada movie or we uh, in movies we know about bangalore very much in its it park it's a, it's a smart city but we does not familiar with the real karnataka culture the udupi the mysore is there all the part and both of your raj shetty raj pishetty movie and akshay shetty movie it has shown the real karnataka um, authentic culture so this is what you want to tell to other indian audience okay we are rich in culture something like that yes definitely i believe every every industry has been doing it i mean kerala has been doing it for a long time now mm. uh and uh, you can see their culture in ta- ta- tamil films mm. whereas in kannada films uh, we have started exploring it very recently mm. i mean i think in 80s uh, 70s 80s and all we have done it mm. but uh, in between there was a time when you know we were doing only very commercial films which are not wrong you know that those audiences are also there we, we are supposed to cater uh, mm. make films and cater uh, to mm. them as well but there was uh, uh films which explores the culture of that region the la- the the dialects of different dialects of that region is very important mm. because that's a benchmark for us for the for the next generation you know mm. if the next generation wants to look back and see what kind of uh, what what was karnataka 50 years back mm. these are the only uh, you know few mediums which can show to the next generation mm. that yeah this karnataka is uh, during this time it was like this mm. so it becomes very important uh, for us to capture it in in our stories mm. and uh, If you come to Udupi and Mangalore, there's so much, so much culture and tradition that it has to be, and it, they're not explored uh, properly. Mm. I mean, I can do at least ten films using that culture and mm. uh, tradition. And one year or already done. I have done one, uh, and I have included a lot of uh, things so. in it. But uh, there's like, there's a lot more which can be ex- explored mm. in a very in a very beautiful way. Mm. I have few plans. So let's see. Uh, there is one movie called Arvindan Da Didigal. Uh, which shown the real uh, something very related to Karnataka culture and all Mukambika uh-huh. something like that so it's shot in uh, 99% in, uh, in that Karnataka, Karnataka. Okay, okay. so in that only we just got a little bit flavor I think so uh, have you watched or known something I've, I've heard about it uh-huh. uh, because I remember somebody uh, saying that you know how beautifully they ex- explored karnataka in uh, in malayalam film oh whereas we ourselves have not done it uh, something like that i have, have uh, i remember uh-huh. you know in bangalore days bangalore day bangalore is shown so beautiful in bangalore days uh-huh. how is the director sir see very rough and tough guy or <laughs> actually when i uh, first met him uh, it was in my audition only he saw on the video and he called me inside uh, his cabin and till then i was not nervous yeah uh-huh. but after seeing him and when he started telling me more about the character when he started enacting the character how devika should be then i started sweating oh because he was so good in performing mm. i have rarely seen any director perform and show to the artist mm. they tell us the dialogue and we give it a, a way of our style we show it art mm. that's how i had worked till then mm. they tell us the dialogue and we work 
But he enacted Devika, he showed me, and he literally showed me the whole expression and the body language, oh. which I had to carry. Mm. Forex sir, uh, when we look into 2013-14 time, it was first Lucia was break into the Kannada movie, so it was a path breaker. After that, Zulu Devere Kannada day. And uh, I think literally my personal experience was the first uh, Kannada movie I'm watching was Crick Party. So at that time only Kannada movies getting an ominous response across the pan-Indian level. So uh, when we look into, still now watching Zulu Devere Kannada day, it's like the non-linear narration that film has. So what was the thought at that time, okay, if if it's not work, work if it's not worked on, uh, I should stop filming him. Because people will stop, okay, he's tried something new, but it won't work. Yeah. So, so, that, uh, so that, that's that's probably, that's that's where I was. Mm. Uh, like when I when I made Uli Dharukandante, probably I, di I didn't think anything. Mm. Like I just knew what I wanted to do. I uh, I wrote what I knew. Mm. And I, uh, I knew right from my first frame to last frame, exactly what is my film. Uh, even before I uh, went to set, I had watched my film like 100 times before I uh, shot the film. Mm. But once I shot it, then uh, during the uh, post-production, when people started watching it, few of them who had liked the script, they loved it. Mm. Uh, but the others who were thinking that, you know, this is, they, who are not used to non-linear uh, narrations and all, including the, uh, the producers and, uh, you know, pe people inside the team itself, they started, they, they were not convinced uh, with the film. So I uh, started, you know, uh, there was a lot of confusion inside me mm. that, you know, what, have I done uh, something right or mm. something something wrong? And then, uh, then I st just stuck on to one uh, idea that when I started, what was my mindset while doing this film? Because mm. right now, if I change uh, something, it won't, be, it, it won't be that film also, it won't be something else also. Mm. So instead, let me get, at least, let me stick on to what I have started, uh, what idea I had started with. Mm. Then I, I stuck to that and I, uh, you know, we released the film. So when the film released also, uh, it was very average in the box office. You know, mm. we, we did well in, in uh, multiplexes. In multiplexes it ran for 50 days. But in single screens there was no response at all. Mm. So uh, we had only recovered like, you know, half the money what we had invested. Mm. And uh, including the satellite, everything, OTT was not there then. Mm. Uh, so including rest, rest everything also, we had only re recovered like, you know, 60-70% of the mm. uh, the film budget. So that was very disappointing for me. Mm. Which is why I was not very sure if, you know, this kind of film, should I even try it? Mm. Uh, that's why I went a completely different path. I did a uh, few films which is not exactly my genre. Mm. But then, you know, as an actor, I had to survive and I was like, you know, I had to do something. Mm. Probably I have to do, I have to work on films which people already like. And uh, when even those films didn't work, that is when I started thinking that, okay, even if I do what people like, that also is not working. Even if I do what I like, that is also not working. Mm. But by then, Ulidor Karnanthi had become, uh, it had uh, got some cult uh, value. Uh, value. So now I was like, okay, at least, when I do something which I like, uh, it has some some value and some satisfaction. Let mm. me do that. Mm. And I was trying to put, uh, find mm. a balance also, which is when we tried. You know, uh, we came up with Kirik Party, mm. where uh, you know it is my kind of film also because it is from my personal experience, mm. uh, but also uh, something which I'm very sure that people also will like. Mm. Uh, so Kirik Party worked for me uh, really well. Hmm. And then, uh, as a filmmaker, I wanted to learn something which I don't know. Hmm. Uh, I wanted to step into a, 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 a zone where I am not comfortable with, I am not familiar with. Uh, and as a writer also, I wanted to uh, get better. Hmm. Which is why, I, which is when we started, I started reading books, how to write stories. Because Ulidoro Karnante, uh, Kirik Party, I, I didn't know uh, anything about the structure or anything about, you know, uh, uh, what are the few things which is required? Mm. Uh, like, for example, in in uh, in Hollywood and all, they they are very particular about the structure. Mm. It has to fit inside the structure when when you make a mm. commercial film. Mm. And I am doing a commercial film which is not uh, you know where where I don't even know what is structure. So mm. I started learning about the structure and all. I I'd learned before that also, but that had not gone inside my head very clearly. Mm. But now since I had done like two films, now uh, when I was reading about the structure and I was comparing with what I had already written. I sort of realized that even if you if you don't know the structure and if you write a story, uh, the structure is because as soon as you tell a story, the structure is normally there mm. without your understanding. But by knowing the structure, you can you can make things even better. Mm. So which is when we started writing ASN for the structure. Mm. 
so that is the the journey i have been uh, into and uh, and now you know in triple seven charlie again probably kiran doesn't know anything about the structure mm. but it has come from his heart oh. uh, and the film looks so beautiful so now it it it, it sort of like you know it took me towards the structure and okay again got me back uh, to a storytelling where uh, it you know, it comes from the heart and you know even if you don't know the structure it can be beautiful mm. uh, yeah that's it so uh, kiran it's uh, it's not just a question i just say a name so you just want to say about them okay it's about them about them so charlie so three of them can answer hmm. i just want a story about charlie that's all. <laughs> so charlie 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 uh, about this charlie okay uh, this charlie this charlie so nammala padathinte heart nu paraya hrudayam vanna so ee charlie ne evadna spot cheyne actually njan oru photo shoot nu plan cheyidittundayirunnu appo oru vaadu puppies ne ഫോട്ടോസ് ഒക്കെ കളക്ട് ചെയ്തു സോ എൻ്റെ ഫ്രണ്ട്സും അവർ ഇവരോടൊക്കെ പറഞ്ഞിട്ടുണ്ടായിരുന്നു എനിക്കിങ്ങനെ കുറച്ച് ക്യൂട്ടായിട്ട് നല്ല എക്സ്പ്രസീവ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള കണ്ണുകളുള്ള ഒരു പപ്പി വേണമെന്ന് എല്ലാവരോടും പറഞ്ഞിട്ടുണ്ടായിരുന്നു സോ ഒരുപാട് ഫോട്ടോസ് വീഡിയോസ് ഒക്കെ വന്നു പക്ഷേ എനിക്കത് എൻ്റെ മൈൻഡിലുള്ള പോലെ ഒരു ലുക്ക് എനിക്ക് കിട്ടിയിട്ടില്ലായിരുന്നു സോ അപ്പോഴാണ് എൻ്റെ ഒരു ഫ്രണ്ട് എനിക്ക് വിളിച്ചിട്ട് പറയുന്നത് അവൻ്റെ ആരോ ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് ആരോ ഒരു പപ്പി അഡോപ്റ്റ് ചെയ്തു പക്ഷേ വീട്ടിൽ ഭയങ്കര ഹൈപ്പറായിട്ട് അവർക്ക് അതിനെ മാനേജ് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റുന്നില്ല ഫുൾ വീടൊക്കെ മെസ്സ് ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ട് അവരിപ്പോൾ ആർക്കെങ്കിലും കൊടുക്കാൻ വേണ്ടി ട്രൈ ചെയ്യും സോ ആർക്കെങ്കിലും കൊടുക്കാൻ വേണ്ടി ട്രൈ ചെയ്തുകൊണ്ട് താൻ വേണമെങ്കിൽ ഒന്ന് നോക്കിക്കോ ഓഫീസിൽ വിളിച്ചോണ്ട് വരാം തനിക്ക് ഓക്കെ അയാൾ നോക്കുന്നു പറഞ്ഞു സോ അവർ വിളിച്ചോണ്ട് വന്നു വിളിച്ചോണ്ട് വന്ന് ഞാൻ ആദ്യം കാണുമ്പോൾ അത്രയെല്ലാം ഒരുപാട് പപ്പിയുടെ ഫോട്ടോസും വീഡിയോസും ഒക്കെ കണ്ടിട്ട് എനിക്ക് ആദ്യമായിട്ടാണ് ചാർലിനെ കാണുമ്പോൾ ഓക്കെ ഇതാന്ന് ഞാൻ ഇതുവരെ ഞാൻ തേടിക്കൊണ്ടേ ചാർലി ഇവളാന്ന് പറഞ്ഞ് സോ ഒരാ ഒരാളുടെ വീട്ടിൽ അവർക്ക് കുറച്ച് പ്രശ്നങ്ങളായിട്ട് വേണ്ടാന്ന് വെച്ച ഒരു ചാർലിയാണ് നമ്മളെ പടത്തിൻ്റെ നായകൻ നായികയായത് സോ രക്ഷിച്ചോട്ട് especially in this film uh more than what i have felt probably what he has felt is uh i have just trusted him and have gone with that uh, idea mm. i have not uh, because i was in a, in a in a space where i was ex- trying to explore myself mm. when i was shooting this film and uh, a lot of things emotionally what he felt i uh, while while shooting at least we, uh, i i was not very uh, because i don't know what what he's feeling mm. and uh, so i most of the times i have just followed what he has told me mm. and given my best mm. uh, there and only when it uh, see when when some someone someone is very very passionate and dedicated towards uh, uh, a film i believe his his decisions are the right decisions mm. i've always believed that you know in, uh, in terms of anything because when when i was making my film mm. i i wouldn't like somebody else coming and uh, you know uh, uh, commenting uh, on mm. it or uh, th- things like that so i completely dependent on, on dependent on on him because he was very sure about what, what he wanted, wanted uh, in this film mm. uh, so i just just fo- followed it to be mm. frank at that point he wanted this emotion and i knew this st- Uh, in in which part of the story it is coming and i i un- i understand that mm-hmm. when he tells me that you know i i want this emotion i i understand why he wants that uh, uh, emotion so based on that i have just performed mm. so i keep saying that you know uh, a person who has seen the life what he has seen only that can that person can write the story mm. i can never make triple uh, 7 charlie mm. raj can never make triple 7 uh, charlie uh, charlie because we have not seen that life mm. we have not seen the life what he this guy has seen okay. uh, so that's the uh, so which is why when i have not seen it and somebody has seen it mm. it's always better to just follow him mm. so that's okay. sagita do you have any awkward moments with the pet something like that awkward yes no i have had some uh, like uh, crazy moments with my pets like uh, i had got, i had uh, adopted this puppy called flora okay. so she was a indie dog uh, 
she had some problem she had her knee and her body oh. and uh, i got to know it uh, after two days it's like after adopting it so i could have left it back but i didn't have the heart to leave it back uh. she so uh, she was so cute and she was very good so uh, she was very naughty at the same time she was not well but she never showed it mm. this was the best this is the best part about flora like uh, so she had so much of problem her stomach was in her near her uh, chest she could oh. uh, she could either breathe or eat one uh, thing at a time so i had to feed her uh, once in two hours like that so i had to take care of her whole day mm. so even in that much pain she used to always play around she used to jump she used to attack everyone so i had those moments where she used to anything new i bring and i keep it on my bed or something reachable she used to she had anxiety she cannot be without me mm. she used to just tear it apart and break it apart so i have this thing then i started learning to be responsible i should not keep anything on bed i should keep my bed clean mm. so if anything and i just go out and come back it is gone because she cannot be without me and she will destroy anything i like mm. so that was the thing about her okay So, Riksh, uh, it's uh, how often you enjoy Malayalam movies? I think so. You are you are a great fan of Malayalam movies, I know. Uh, I I I watch and since I have watched a lot of films since my childhood, uh, but from last five six years, I'm not I've stopped watching only uh, I've not watched many films because uh, I was in a different space. Hmm. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, I've watched many films. So, your favorite ad- admired actor in Malayalam? Mo- Mohan Lal sir. I've told that many times. So, okay, so when we look into South cinema, we have very much larger than life films. When we look into Bahubali, Tripura, something like that, South was known for that because larger than life films, we make it very huge. But in after the post-COVID scenario, we have the God that content value. because we generate very much content and the ott is a lot of mileage which we can reach any time any audience i think most of the punjabi uh, youtubers are very much a fan of south movies so i think one of your famous youtube channel have commented in your uh, triple seven charlie trail also so uh, uh, how does you see the growth of the south cinema in front of because i i think we are moving towards uh, you know a place where probably in uh, indian cinema will be recognized only as indian cinema mm. not as a south and uh, I, i think that differentiation is going to uh, end go end soon mm. uh, but probably yeah i mean inside inside the country probably we still uh, you know uh, i think the north audience will see the south indian film as south indian film and south audience will definitely see bollywood as a north indian uh, mm. film that that might be there inside the country uh, Uh, but i think the ott platforms are growing in a certain level where uh, you know it's a- any content which is good is going to have a market all over the con- all over the world mm. uh, you know the world is your market now mm. so if you make a b- amazing content uh, people are ready to see som- somewhere around the world because it it, ha- it is to happen in kirik party only kirik party songs we have seen some someone someone in nigeria singing that song oh uh, so uh, but i get the song ha but i get the song uh, so uh, that's you know you don't know who is watching your content today uh, yeah. you know it's it's that uh, can we see yash movie in rakshit shetty directory yash movie in rakshit shetty directory uh, some day you never know because i am not going to uh, continue acting forever because film making is my uh, passion some day probably i when i and i'm sure uh, yash is going to act for a long time <laughs> <laughs> so yeah you never know yeah. mm-hmm. think hopefully we are waiting for that yeah. think so so kiran upcoming projects endengilum set aidu after triple seven njan lockdown time il enikku korcha time kitti adu undu script oru rendu script edittunde pakshe njan fix aayittunde endu ornale idu endoru anju varshathinte journey aanu So, it's a time for me. Charlie has a complete time to release it. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? So, Sangeeta, what next? What next? I, for now, I'm waiting for Charlie to release and then I will <laughs> see everything. Because I've not accepted any movie like uh, in between after that. I've hmm. done one movie. But I'm, after that, uh, from a few years, whatever I'm getting, I'm just waiting for Charlie to release. Okay. Because I'm so excited for Charlie. So, thank you guys for being in with me. Thank you, thank you. It was a pleasure being here. Thank you, thank you.